Hi, James with the one hour smarthome.com. In today, we're going to compare the Nest versus the Nest E. So, what is the difference between these two thermostats, the Nest and the Nest E? Well, first of all, the Nest is on its third generation. Hard to believe, right? There is a first generation, second generation, and the latest model, which is Gen 3. You don't have to worry about what generation you're going to get if you're buying a new Nest thermostat. These Generation 3 are pretty much all that's available in stores. Now, the other alternative to the Nest Gen 3 thermostat is the Nest E thermostat. And everybody wants to save a little bit money, and this is a little bit less expensive than the Nest Gen 3 thermostat. But what are you getting for those trade-offs? What do you lose with the less expensive Nest E versus the typical Nest thermostat. Well, that's what we're going to cover in this video. And we've got a nice little comparison chart to run you through exactly what the differences are between these two smart thermostats. So this is actually the Nest Generation 3 from my wall. This is what I use in my home and what I recommend. But we'll get to that because the Nest E might be right for you. And we'll see. The... Uh, Nest thermostat and Nesty, we've got this chart here. We've got what we're going to compare it on. Uh, this is the Nest. This is the Nest E. And we just put a plus or a minus here for whichever one has better features. So the very first thing that comes to mind are the looks of the Nest versus the Nest E. Now the Nest, typical Nest thermostat, as you can see, it's glass. I just pulled this off the wall, so it's got a weird error message on it. This front face is glass, um, which is really nice finish. And then the outer ring is stainless steel, okay? And it really has a nice fit and finish. It looks like a high-end piece of equipment on your wall. Just imagine it right there, or maybe that's better like that. And you can see how it looks on your wall. It's a nice looking piece of equipment. People always are drawn to it and they walk into a house, they're like, oh, wow, you have a nest. Um, but beyond just that typical finish, that's what I've got, just the stainless steel standard nest thermostat, the Nest has multiple different colors. So there are white, black, I think a chrome, and a copper. But there's a lot of different options here that you can pick from that will match your decor or fit and finish. The Nest E only comes in one color, white. And it is really, actually, instead of being stainless steel and glass, this thing is mostly plastic, if not all plastic. So it doesn't have that high-end feel like the Nest thermostat does, but some people like this because, you know, it fits on a white wall really nice and looks okay. Uh, the other thing about the look of this is that the brightness is like dimmer. It's almost looking through like a clouded window when you're looking at the numbers. It's not an LCD screen, like a true LCD like you might find on your phone, which is closer to what this is. Um, so in this category, we awarded the Nest a plus mark because uh, it does have more functionality in terms of the looks. It looks better than the Nest E. It's got a nicer fit and finish than the Nest E, and you only have one color with the Nest E. Um, as far as features go, the Nest has more features than the Nest E. And for the most part, all the features that you're gonna use on the app are the same for these two thermostats. The primary difference in features is that the Nest E right here does not have a motion sensor built in. And what that means is that the auto away and auto home functionality is not driven by the thermostat. So a typical Nest, when you walk by it, it detects that you're home, it creates this auto schedule for you, it detects when you're gone. And it's using the data from the motion sensor to determine that. The Nest E doesn't have a motion sensor. So how it determines if you're home or not is from the geolocation on your phone, within the app, or from other Nest devices. So if you've got like a Nest door lock, or you have a Nest uh, smoke detector, those have uh, motion detectors in them, it's going to take that information to help develop your schedule. So this has the motion sensor built in. This does not have the motion sensor built in. Other than that, they pretty much have all the same features. You're going to have uh, auto scheduling. You're going to have auto away. Like I said, it's just a auto away operates differently. This still does use your geolocation to make it even more precise. 
You're gonna be able to control it from your phone. You're gonna be able to control it from Alexa. You're gonna be able to control both these from your phone, Alexa. You're gonna be able to control them both with Google Home. Uh, you can change the temperature from your phone. You can add Nest temperature sensors, which we've got another video on, which I highly recommend, to either of these, either the Nest E or the Nest Gen 3 thermostat. So that is a nice feature. Um, you can get schedules with both of these. You can still use eco mode. You can use the, uh, what is it? Uh, the air wave cooling, which allows you to can get a little bit more energy efficiency out of your cooling. I think we've got a video on that. If not, we do have a blog post on that. So check out the website, onehoursmarthome.com. And while I'm there, please like and subscribe to this video. We appreciate it. It helps us support, uh, it helps support us and helps us create more videos for you. And you can click on any of the links below if you want to support us in any way. So uh, this, they both have airwave. They both are going to help you save energy. This does have the slight advantage in helping you save energy because it has that built-in motion sensor, which is going to help develop a more accurate auto schedule and auto away feature. Um, in terms of compatibility, they both have compatibility with like 85% of systems is what Nest advertises. And I believe the Nest has an advertised like 90% compatibility. So you have 5% difference in compatibility. But there is one big caveat to that. They will both work with standard HVAC systems. They'll both work with boilers. They will both work with uh, some electric systems that have low voltage wiring. And they will both work with heat pumps, if I didn't already say that. But where they do have a limitation is in newer systems that have uh, dual stage heating or dual stage cooling, only the main Nest, the Nest Generation 3, like this one, is going to work with those dual stage systems. And the reason being is that this Nest E has fewer terminals on it. It does not have dual stage heating and cooling capability. So if you have a dual stage heating and cooling system, you need to go with the Nest. If you don't have a dual stage heating and cooling, you could go with the Nest E, no problems. Now, the other thing that this Nest has over the Nest E is that it does have more ports for things like accessories. So humidifiers, dehumidifiers, stuff like that. It is easier to set up on this than it is the Nest E. The Nest E will let you set up some accessories, but only for certain systems. If you have a heat pump, you're not gonna be able to set up an accessory because the heat pump terminal is also the same as the accessory terminal, which creates some issues. So overall wiring and accessories and compatibility, the Nest is gonna give you more compatibility. If you just have a standard HVAC system, either one of these is gonna work. And when I say standard, I mean a furnace with an air conditioner. That's the most standard heating and cooling system out there, or a heat pump with nothing special, just the heat pump and uh, that's it. No dehumidification, humidification, or humidifiers on there. I mean, they both dehumidify, but a specific whole home humidifier attached to the system. Then you're gonna to need to go with one of these if you have a heat pump, it's uh, more important to go with this. In, in general, if you're on the fence, I would recommend going with the Gen 3 because it's got more compatibility. You don't have to worry about it as much. So installation, it's easy for both of these. They're equal. Uh, there's not much of a difference between the two. We've got a video that shows you how to wire these things up. Cost. This is where they have the biggest difference. The Gen 3, the nicer stainless steel and glass thermostat. Uh, which I would say is more popular than the Nest E, uh, that does have a higher cost than the Nest E. So we gave the Nest E the check mark there, the plus mark there, because the Nest E is significantly cheaper than this. Now, if you're on the fence between these two, before you buy one of these, what I would do is check with your local utility company because a lot of times they offer rebates where you could get the Nest Gen 3 with more features for basically the retail price of this or similar to the same price. So in Chicago, they had at one point like $100 or $125 rebate on a smart thermostat, which is an amazing deal. So if you're looking at a smart thermostat, you should check your utility company. A lot of them have incentives to get a smart thermostat. So you check that out uh, before you buy one or when you buy one, uh, you can usually get reimbursed for it. So we've got links to both these thermostats below. Uh, click on them, that does help support us. But the cost for the Nest 
uh, Gen 3 is typically more than the less expensive Nest E, which saves money by being plastic, fewer finishes, and just a little lower quality fit and finish than this really nice Nest Gen 3 thermostat. Overall, if I was gonna get a Nest thermostat, what would I pick thinking about it right now? I'd go with the Nest Gen 3. And the reason being it has more features, it looks nicer, and I just think that it works a little bit better with that motion sensor. Um, you could definitely save money with this and you're gonna get a lot of the same features, but if you were looking at the overall cost of a house, uh, let's say you have a $100,000 house, spending $100 more or $50 more on a smart thermostat between one or the other, it's less than 1% of the cost of the house. It's way, way less than that. You're gonna pay interest on the house, taxes, all these other kind of things that you're gonna pay for the house. So really it comes down to, do you like the design of one? Do you like the features of one over the other? And a smart thermostat over the long term, uh, they can save you 10 to 15% in your energy bill. I've definitely found that to be true. So you're gonna be saving money over the long term of the life of your house. Let's say you owned it for 30 years or 10 years or five years even these things are most likely gonna help pay for themselves over time. I do find that I'm more conscientious of setting my heating and cooling both in the morning and night because I am able to do it from my phone or I often use ALEXA or Google Home to set it. So one, I'm more comfortable, but also I do save energy because I'm more likely to turn it up and down when I'm on another floor of the house or a different room or not near the thermostat. So even without the smart features, being able to remotely control the thermostat is going to help you save energy. And then obviously if you're going out of town for a weekend or maybe you even got a day trip where you're gonna be gone for eight hours and you didn't think about it, that motion sensing capability of the Nest Gen 3 is really helpful to turn down the heat or the cooling while you're gone and save a little bit of energy. So I would go with the Nest Gen 3. But if you want to save some money, this isn't, it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, it's still a quality piece. It's just the fit and finish is less. So if you're one of those people that really just wants utilitarian stuff and something that's going to work, this will do the job. If you're somebody that likes a little bit more custom design or higher end design and you want to choose the color that matches whatever your wallpaper is, your paint color, your home decor, maybe you've got all gold fixtures in your house and you want to have a gold or brass nest thermostat, it's a really nice access point. Or maybe you've got stainless steel all over your house and you wanna look really high tech, you can do that with the nest. So I'd say most of all, it comes down to that main feature, the motion sensing. And the other one is just look, what do you like in your home? How do you like your decor to look? And I wouldn't let the cost difference be that big of an issue with you because you're gonna save that money in the longer term with either one of these and you wanna be happy with what you got on the wall because you're gonna to have to look at it every day. Um, but either of these are a nice upgrade from uh, like a traditional style old thermostat, you know, that might be from the 1960s or 70s with just the dial in your house that's outdated. Uh, I will say when homeowners or uh, when people are selling their homes, a lot of people walk into the house and one of the first things they notice is, oh, you have a smart thermostat or they look at it and it just kind of sets the tone for a home showing and people are going to think that it is a nicer house than maybe a house that doesn't have a smart thermostat because they know it's been updated. Uh, it just tends to make people think a little bit more about it. And they're like, oh, that's nice. I got a, a smart thermostat. It's one less thing they have to check off on their to-do list. So it potentially could help you sell your home. It might add a little value to your home, but uh, it definitely, I think, is an interesting feature that psychologically a lot of people notice when they enter a home. And that same effect with the thermostat is very similar with smart locks and smart doorbells. So the first thing when somebody approaches is typically, uh, you know, the door, so they're gonna see a smart doorbell, smart lock. They're gonna think, oh, I'm safe and secure here. They're also gonna think updated and another fe a nice feature. And that carries over to the smart thermostat. So while you're making the investment now, something that might be more expensive, I think in a long term, it can one, help you save energy, money, and kind of give you that edge if you ever do go sell your home. Nobody looks at one of these and thinks, oh, that looks hideous on the wall. I mean, maybe some of you do, but I'd say the vast majority of people look at this and they kind of think like Apple product, iPhone, nice stuff, and everybody likes nice stuff. So. Thank you for watching. Uh, 
we hope you enjoyed this video and our comparison of the Nest versus the Nest E. Uh, give you a little shot of the chart here one last time if you just want to look at it. Please like this video. Please subscribe. Check out our website, onehoursmarthome.com. If you've got questions on installing a Nest thermostat or just smart home advice, reviews, all that stuff. And if you are installing your Nest thermostat and you have a question about the common wire, we've got videos for that that show you the easy way to do it. So please check it out. And thank you for watching.